copy that test. Oh, thank you. Wow, Carlos, I like the mic you have there, man. Wow. <laughs> Paul, I was just going to say the same thing. Now that's totally pro. Oh, where do you find that from? Not only if it's visual, but it gives me that great masculine vo low voice. Yeah, I mm. know oh, I got this online. It's a short mic. Uh, w the original short mic like this, Michael Jack Jackson used it in his movie Thriller, that uh, uh, CD. But anyway, yeah, it's one uh, one of the uh, marketers I was following before I got on this uh, uh, program was Jono Armstrong, and he had one like this. So it's a three hundred dollar mic, you know. Got it online. Nice. Oh, thank you. And then uh, it back comes with all the all the equipment you have in front of you. Uh, well, let me see if I can turn my screen on and everything. Yeah, let me, huh? Oh uh, no no no! No, this right here is a uh, a Bose. It's a noise cancellation. Uh, this is uh, like two hundred some odd bucks. I got it last year. So after a job, I uh, overtime I decided to get some more equipment, and I'm going to turn my thing around. You can see my setup. I don't know if you can see it. Mm -hmm, where mm -hmm. I have the preamp and amp that has the lights on it. Yeah yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. So. Very nice. Let me see it. The only thing is, the attachment that I originally had before I got this uh, mic over here was this, um, it's a he headset buddy with a mic, mm -hmm. but I don't use the mic part, uh, so I just kind of like, it's in the way. I couldn't find a wire, uh, couldn't find a wire mm -hmm. at Best Buy, so I just, you know, tuck it right there and it's good to go. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It's a podcast wow. mic. Yeah. Yeah. It is like we do. We do use a lot of Zoom meetings here. I think we we work through only Zoom meetings. Yeah. Uh, one of my one of my teammates who bought this light and everything, and you can hang a bunch of stuff. I have a hard time finding the place to put it on my my desk here. Uh huh. Take a lot of space and. Oh, that's a nice office you have. Wow. Yeah. It's um. Hey, this little office is uh, costing me about fifteen hundred dollar a month. Oh wow! Wow. <laughs> Fifteen hundred dollars. Wow! This is the most expensive real estate I am. We have a uh, in San Antonio here in Texas. We have a it's called a Geekdom. It's a place where entrepreneurs meet, and for fifty bucks a month, you have a meeting room, you have a podcast studio, you mm -hmm. have a uh, lunch room, free coffee, soda, and all that stuff, and then you have a uh, soundproof booth uh, in there too. So, yeah, we yeah. do have that as well. We have like a Zoom actual Zoom station. Oh, that's good. Uh, all the stuff it put in so we, we we do the meeting through that zoom like through across the nation canada uh -huh. um, from this office we have pretty close to 300 broker working from here so oh, wow. wow it's about fifteen thousand dot square foot office wow major operation there yeah it's yeah. pretty, pretty impressive pretty uh -huh. yeah Sounds awesome, guys. Now, I'm just going to wait until Mar uh, Marianne comes into the room. She's here. If not, I'm not sure. Let me just check. Not yet. I'm just going to see. I want to make sure that she's here. Uh, I've not heard anything yet, but stand by. I'm just going to see if she's going to be here soon. She's in a... She's waking up at like 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. So... Wow. Yeah. Really? She's the one that's taking the uh, the minutes and everything like that. Any notes that needs to be done with the timestamps and anything like that. Let's Why? Have a look. Which, which country is she in? Um, I think Malaysia. Four or five. Yeah. That's right. Either way, all good. I'll continue. I'll see... There's always a replay, so it's all good. All right, all right. Hope you've all been well and been working through your phone. We've got 23 people in the room. How's Spencer doing? 
Uh, he was with me earlier. He was on the. He's here. He's actually in the room. So, oh, wow. welcome to you, Blake's Wonderful Welcome, Accelerator. This is your on. Uh, this is not your onboarding call. This is your regular yeah. weekly calls, Tuesdays and Thursdays, 4 p.m. EST. So, hope you've all been doing really well. I've just done an onboarding call and uh, jumped on a call. Well, it's actually a. There was a live that was going on just moments ago with Russell Brunson. What's actually going on with Funnel Hacking Live? Because I was there this time last year and I, I had no idea about any of this sort of thing. Uh, I didn't even have a ClickFunnels account, but I just flew over to Nashville and just thought just go just be in the room with everybody else so that's what actually happened for me this time last year and then i came back and then started working on my funnel uh the blake's funnel program funnel so it's been super cool amazing just over just a year from from last year it's just been incredible so welcome to your call we have 23 people in the room i hope you're all well i hope you've all been doing your funnels and everything like that spencer is in the room we all want to know how you're doing well i know one thing for sure they haven't killed me yet <laughs> they haven't done anything else for me either so i i don't know i guess i i'm just in the mode of being grateful i'm still alive and uh i have no control over anything mm -hmm. and do what i can <laughs> so. yeah no it's good to see you we're all wondering like you know we only have you inside of the messenger group you know we don't know any part of your family or anything like that so like if we didn't hear back from you, it would be like, well, who do we contact type of thing? We all care. That's how. We, that's why everybody else was like messaging inside of the messaging group. So hopefully it wasn't like uh, pressure your side. Oh my God, all these people are like are messaging me, just trying to find out. And you you said that you could barely see at the time. Yeah, no, no, I appreciate it. That's that's cool stuff. No, I'm not. Uh, yeah, no, all, all is good. Whatever people want to ask is fine. We just don't have a whole lot of answers. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, the doctors don't know, but it's good to see you in the room. Now, if you ever feel like, you know, you're not feeling 100% or anything like that, any medical reasons, no, just let me know. And um, no, just you can quite you can quietly step away if you need to, if you're not feeling 100% dizzy or whatever. But either way, uh, that applies to everybody. I hope you're all well. And uh, we're, we have a few people who are either finishing today's call or have one more call left either way. Great to see you all. I see there's a ton of people in the room that has questions. We've got, we're going to go with Ron first, Winnie, Jane, John, Nancy, Joshua, Paul, Vicky. You've got your hands raised. If you have the uh, reactions feature on, on your Zoom call, use that or use the hand raise feature, which if you can navigate through your vo own version of Zoom, use that. Uh, we're going to go one hour from now. It's 10 minutes past the hour. I can see Michaeline with a T-shirt on. If you can put your T-shirt on. But if you put your cameras on, that'd be awesome. It'd be, it'd be nice to see instead of uh, just names. I just see names, uh, a few people's names, a few images. It'd be nice to see people's faces. I understand that if you're, if you're in bed in a different part of the world, it's all good. Um, Every time you start this, I always think you're going to like start doing this and tell us where the exits are and stuff. It's <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. it's missing that. Yeah, I kind of, this is my previous life. <laughs> I get it. I like that. <laughs> so, um, all right, let's go Ron first, Winnie, and then Jane. Let's go. Okay, Darren. Um, my first question is, on the two-step order form, um, when I click on products, uh, the drop-down doesn't have any products listed. It doesn't have my $7 or anything like that. Yeah, you. This is where you're. You're in eight ad products. Is that where you're at? I'm sorry. What? You're in eight ad products. Is that correct? Well, I'm starting eight, but this is actually in the affiliate section. The affiliate. Uh, if you're in, uh, you're, you're talking about eight ad products inside of the Blake's Panel Program Accelerator, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing inside of there that's to do with the affiliates. That's like at the beginning um there was a there was a call after a weekly coaching course 38 there's a call right underneath there where i talk about the affiliate side of things what's in eight add your products is all to do with your funnel your members areas and everything like that now if you go and if you go to the products tab there won't be anything in there that's where the training is taking you step by step to add that for yourself inside of your funnel in your product for that page so if you just watch that, pause it and do it, it will add the details that you need. And then you'll add that as a, as a data entry point. And inside of the members area, it will show you where to place that product. So hopefully that will help. Okay. So in that, um, in section eight. Yeah. You yeah, said, just goes, 
Um, yeah. What, number 38 of your calls? No, that's affiliate. So ignore the affiliate side of things. If you're in eight, add your products and you're going through your members area, just to make sure we are talking about your products for your members area, not the affiliate side of things. Right. I'm in the mem members area now, but um, when I get into the affiliate, it was asking, forget the affiliate. Yes, yeah, I'm in the it, members. Yeah, yeah. So um, have you received an email from the team saying that uh, you've got your blueprint, here's how to do, download your blueprint, here's how to what to do with it, there'll be a separate page that it's all blue. And there's yeah, a video. No, that I, haven't received, I haven't got to that point yet. So there'll be a form underneath that underneath that video that says, are you okay with uh, the previous uh, designs that we've done? That would be the, the blueprint. And I believe it's the profile or it's no, it's actually the custom graphics and the profile. By doing the form underneath eight ad products blueprint, underneath there, underneath that video, there's a form. That's you accepting, saying that I'm okay with the designs previously. So when that's been sent off to the design team, they'll then cr create that blueprint for you. And when you receive it, you should have an email, which then has two things on there. One is here's your here's your download for your blueprint. We've already done the work for you. There's the Google Drive. That's that that thing. And the second one is here's a page of now this is what you do with it. So if you haven't received that yet, you'll get it whenever you've firstly submitted that form. Have you submitted that form underneath the video? Um, I, you said the form under the video as far as. I'm not sure what video you're talking about right now. All right, let me just uh, share my screen and then we'll go straight into the program. So we're in the accelerator program. Those in the, in the elite uh, is slightly different for you guys. You'll be doing it yourselves. But if we go into eight, add your products. Okay, on the left hand side. And we've got blueprint. Yeah. Well, I see, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. And then uh, whenever it loads up. So I'm just going to reduce the cameras on my side over here. Place that there. Okay, so just watch, pause, and do the eight minute and 40 second video. And then you've got a form underneath here. Right. And just make sure mm -hmm. that you take note of these things. So it's basically saying, you know, if you're okay with the custom graphics and the profile, we're going to be using those graphics. That's right. you saying, yes, okay. Uh, make sure you go all the way down to the bottom. There's 10 questions all the way down to the bottom until you receive or you see the submit button. Because we're seeing some people get into the bottom and maybe uh, the form isn't quite fully in view and they're not able to submit and they think it's been submitted. So make sure you get all the way down, down to the bottom and answer all those questions. And then that's be, that'll be sent over to the team. We'll take care of that. And then within, as I say, with any design work, expect five to seven days. It's normally returned back within one to four days, but I say five to seven days on day five, give me a nudge. Tell me if there's anything wrong or you haven't received an email or you haven't received anything back from the from this submission. And uh, we'll, we'll talk to the, the team regarding that, whether it's myself or Marianne. Okay. okay. One of one of the reasons I mentioned affiliate is on question ten. Insert your click funnels affiliate link. Okay. Um, so to uh, answer that question, my you would have received, you would have won, uh, done this inside of section two foundation. You would have gone down to this one here. Bonus affiliate, uh, bonus affiliate elite click funnels. So there's a form. There's a second form right at the bottom. Let me just go and click on that page. And hopefully you've done that already. And yeah, I, I believe I have, yes. Excellent. So as long as everybody's done this, what is really important on this form is really the email address and the the ID, which like uh, guides you with on this this part here. Now, if, if you need extra guidance uh, with the affiliate side of things, that's that's where I've actually gone through in the coaching calls and, and mentioned how to build out that page. That page oh. is right here. After call 38, I would okay. suggest everybody on the call watching this one watch pause and do and i give you instructions your guidance and everything how to build that affiliate page so that you can invite people to watch uh, to actually opt into that particular page that's been built out there your name your email forwards over to an affiliate link which i discuss fully in this video and okay. uh, you can invite people to go and watch the webinar for the blake's partner program so you can earn while you learn so that will answer everything there. This discusses about your affiliate link. This is my example right here. Here's the 14 day, my 14 day trial link. Um, and then those people that do not have the access to the 14 day trial link, here's the remedy for that whilst, you know, that, that document, that, that form that I was talking about, you know, in section two, whilst ClickFunnels goes in the back office and upgrades your account to 30%. 
So that's why I placed that there so that you can go forwards and find your ID and replace your ID here. It's fully guided on this page yeah. on that video and you'll be fine. And then when you get to number 10, is it question 10 on the yeah. blueprint? Right. You'll yeah. be able to take your, your link. If you haven't been upgraded, if you have amazing, you can, you'll be directed of how to actually get your 14 day trial link in that video too. So hopefully that will help. No, yeah, good question. I've been, a, I've been approved in the um, affiliate. Uh -huh. So I'll have that. And my last question is, at the very beginning, I did a logo, just something I did on Canva, and I had my company name in it, but I since went in another direction with the company name. So I got graphics with my logo, the incorrect logo on it. Is there any way to remove it? Or once it's on the graphics, there's nothing I can do. So have you had your graphics already returned back to you already? Well, when I first got them, um, all my graphics, um, uh, I'm just trying to think, I don't have the email in front of me, but. Okay, so everyone has a one revision maximum with custom graphics right, as well as yeah. profile graphics. So that will mm -hmm. be in six done for you. Anything that's, so ignoring that first section after the induction, introduction and ignoring the custom funnel, we're looking at the custom graphics here, the third option down and right. also the profile graphics. If you haven't used your one revision maximum and you would like to change something out, this is where we reduce the amount of revisions here and, and the design tennis is what I like to say. Uh, custom graphics and your profile graphics, if you want something to be changed, all we need you to do is just say, just do a recording or uh, a rec record your screen. You can speak, essentially just speak to the, to essentially the designer. You, you're recording yourself. I don't like this. Can you change this color? Can you change this text? Right. Whatever you wanted. Can you remove this logo? I've got this other one here. Show the image of the logo so that they can visually connect right. with that and right. know what you're talking about. So then, once that's been done, just send it into the so just send it into the support help desk, right. which is right here. Send that in. Yeah. Uh, they may they might most likely will give you a form to send that link in. Uh, you could just actually say, "Hey, I'm an accelerator. Uh, I want to revise my designs." And they'll give you a particular page and that you can send that in and that will mark it that will mark inside of the the cartra system that you've taken your one revision maximum so it has to go through that process um rather than just sending in your loom link to support team right um so be is it best um i'm assuming it's best that i wait towards the end before i use my one revision because i can in my one revision i can have multiple things change uh yeah essentially like if you don't like the image of your cover your personal profile image or anything like that like there's something that's wrong with it we had yeah. one of the we're, we've had a one or two like slight changes but the the work that the designers do usually is is okay but with yours it sounds like you need to change your logo so i'd get that submitted in otherwise later on you know it's, you, you're going to come back and you it's going to hold it's going to hold you back if i'm looking at this in for projecting into the future right. of the next couple of weeks so i'd rather um I'd rather you get that submitted. If that's the only thing that's really holding you back with the logo, I'd rather you be happy and get launched by 11 launch um, and get that get that corrected. Now, um, if you want to hold back, that's up to you and just launch imperfectly with the old logo, your choice. Yeah. But I'm saying if you know, now, then, no? yeah, if you know if that's the logo you're going to go with, Right. Don't worry if the if you get to your one revision max, like anybody will check and change their branding afterwards. So you get your PSD files. That's where after the one revision maximum, you can go off and play design tennis with your designer of your choice on Fiverr, whoever. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, that's that's why we want you to get the ground uh, hit the ground running and make sure that you launch perfectly. So no, great questions because somebody else might in, in the room might be uh, shy to ask that. So no, very valid questions. And just one other thing, um, how long? Does each of us, I'm only speaking for myself, but do we have with these coaching calls? Six and weeks. Little... So Tuesdays and Thursdays, 4 p.m. EST, six weeks straight, no stopping unless there's some sort of medical issue or family event or uh, as we had previously, someone had to cut their hair and I don't have that problem. Spencer, <laughs> my man, uh, we don't have that problem, Kenneth. Uh, but, you know, you've got to make an appointment these days with COVID, so I understand. Can't, I can't expect you to come on, on screen or scatty and everything like that. We've got videos to make. So either way, um, let me know. I'll see I'll see each and every case scenario and see if I can bump you out and things. So I okay. don't want like a massive chunk and I'll see you in December type of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Once we're in, we're in. 
So let me know. Medical events, all that kind of stuff. We're human. We might not feel 100%, all that kind of thing. So just let me know. Yeah, Send me a private message, all good. Because I, I think my six weeks coming to an end, close is coming to an end, and I have a lot of work still to do. You got sit Let's have a look. Well, I'll just send me a message afterwards. I'll have a look at yeah. the, without looking now, I want to make, make yeah. sure I focus on the sure. call. Um, I'll have a look at what the end date is because I could just see off a glance and just pull it all up all at the same time. But yeah, any questions regarding end dates and things like it's from the onboarding call really and then six weeks on or something that I've agreed with or if I've said to, I don't know, I think I remember saying to Michaeline like we were onboarding on Tuesday She's or somebody, it was, a, was it Michaeline? Something like that, yeah. So um, we were onboarding on Tuesday, so she hadn't gone through any of the content. So it wouldn't make any sense to actually like start the calls or the Thursday because it's too early. So I say, take five to seven days, get to get to up, up to six, and then have your questions for the call. Very welcome to sit on the calls. That's why I, I you know, I'm quite flexible that way. I want to make sure that you're actually utilizing the calls as much as you can. So um, yeah. yeah, we'll talk about that. Just send me a private message, and okay, uh, we'll go forward from there. Yeah, that's it. All right, all right, cool, cool. Um, Winnie, you're next, Jane, and then John. Okay, hi, Darren. How you doing? Okay, I was asking, what is what is the use of stripes? <coughs> what is what, sorry? <coughs> what is the use of stripes in the program? <coughs> to collect your payment. So you need a payment gateway. It's like a PayPal, but it's a lot better. So imagine, okay. do you remember like going through online, just making a payment, and suddenly PayPal takes you off and makes you log in? It takes you off to another page and it makes you log in. You have to put in your name and email or your email and your password and then you have to accept the payment. That's a lot of friction for the end user. Well, Stripe doesn't, when you have that integrated into your account in uh, your funnel, it, it, it just removes all of that. It's just an exception, go to the next page type of thing. It's really slick. So if you have Stripe, it's preferred in, in this system. You'll be, you'll be having customers that are going through with less friction and it allows it increases the it increases the buy and the progress for each and every product that you have rather than going to a separate screen each and every time okay yeah do you have any other questions yeah the second question about the customer funnel my customer funnel is green sunglass mm -hmm. am i able am i able to change it later later to something else or to another custom graphic uh, you all have uh, the ability to have as many funnels and as, as many niches as you like so if you want to change it out you'll just have to fill out the form again and um and reach out to the team as well i definitely use the help desk just to make sure because there might be a trigger option in the back end system that might not allow you to send another so i would follow up with the with the submission of that i just need to make sure or if you could chase up on that on your side if you do make a submission for another funnel with another a theme then definitely go to the help desk because I think there is a restriction on that. So there's there's a little bit of control there. Um, but you are, as the accelerators and elite partners, you can do as many funnels, as, as many niches as you like. Nikki, she's already on. You did the same funnel, right? You just rethemed out, right? Not that rethemed, you redid your I just niche. changed the wording, yeah. So um, I've still got, I've got two funnels that are the same. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. You've got your op options there. So um, yeah, do you have any other questions, Nick? Uh, Winnie? No, thank you. Okay, okay. Wait a Jen second. Did I understand it correctly? So because we're uh, in Accelerator, we don't have this limit uh, like the folks that are not in Accelerator, so I can play with few niches? Is that yeah, correct? Yeah, focus, focus, yeah, focus, focus on, on one on funnel. One yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Until you reach that pain point, Nikki's reaching that pain point. It's like, okay, this is not kind of work. I can't go into any groups or the wording's incorrect. It's not really whatever the pain point is right there. So she's she's just, how how long did it take for you food to go through the whole funnel? Because you did the whole thing in like two weeks and then now you've got another funnel up. The second one took like a matter of days. It wasn't, because I, I knew what I was doing. So it was, it was a lot simpler the second time around. It's savage. No, congratulations for going through that. This is not in, this is not in like your normal world, this funnel game. And you're no. doing this in like literally two weeks, three kids running around. <laughs> And, all, and plenty of books behind you and stuff and taking care of people who are sick. So congratulations and well done for learning the funnel okay. game that quickly. Um, so knowing, like I say, knowing the funnel. I just like need to learn the traffic game now. 
now the traffic game yeah so you reach that point there you go josh is like nodding his head right there like it, he's reached that point like he's he's doing really really well with it and everything so um you you will reach a pain point once you reach that pain point don't stop now you need to smash that wall for that one thing whether it's a messenger whether it's ads whether it's something like your first ad might not be the first that be the best but certainly maybe ad number four or five or ten or fifteen or twenty Blake's first one was probably, I mean, look at what he did. He did a, a gorilla outfit in front of a university hall and just drew on a big cardboard. It says how to learn better or something like that dot com. So, you know, he tried. That was physical. Um, so do your best. Fit, reach those pain points because somebody else behind, in front of you or behind you would have just stumbled. Back in the Blake's partner program when I was still serving everybody else in the main pro program, I had somebody who was based up, at, up north in the, in the UK, in Leeds. And he, he he's from the army. I was thinking, yeah, resilient, going to push, push past anything. Uh, used to remove asbestos uh, roofs and things like that. He, that was his own business and he wanted to go in partnership with his friend. Long story short, he ended up... Uh, oh, I was just seeing why you were waving there. <laughs> Okay, no worries. Um, so, uh, yeah, the pain point with, with that was uh, he was, he just didn't know what to do with legal pages. I said, well, just go to hashtag legal, legal pages. It was like, that's it, I'm done. Like $49 or 29 or 19, who, who is it? Uh, Vicky was saying the other day, like, that's it, I'm done, seriously. Like, you got to invest in your business. You got to have to, you know, when you get the keys from McDonald's, you, you've got to pay for your employees. You've got to, you've got to uh, figure out the cleaners. You've got to figure out your inventory and all that kind of thing and the lights and the, and your, your heating, you know, you got to figure all these things out. It's all cost of business. And it's just like, you know, you get a mobile phone without a contract. What good is it? Pay as you go. And then the lights turn off. Wow. So understand that push past you'll get there. And it took me what? Five months, five months. No, I had nobody. It was it was tough, and then I just kind of watched everybody else go by. But either way, I wanted to do things and do do it as lean as I could. But either way, you'll get there. Um, Jane, who 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 who? Thanks, someone just lowered the hand. Jane, you were waving your hands there. Yeah, sorry guys, I've got to go in a sec. So I just, if I can, just quickly ask a question because my work day is about to hit up hit the road. Yeah, go ahead. Um, at the end of the master class um, in the members, where the members area is, in, at the very end of the master class, there's a thing that says lesson number one, first lesson. Um, I can't find anything on what I'm supposed to do with that. At the end of the master class, oh no! Last week I said delete it. So it's like a complete section. It's like a it's like a cushion, a buffer. So yeah. like as you as you clone over or share a funnel and click funnels, it's just a glitch. But I think of it as a nice little cushion. It's there to just carry over and just land nicely that's how i explain it anyway but like it's there's nothing in that lesson section so there's 30 lessons no i know a, i know so i can yeah. just delete it yeah just delete the whole section delete the actual okay. section and the left well if you just delete a section it deletes a lesson underneath <laughs> there anyway so you're good okay no worries gotta shoot yeah. guys all right see ya all right, yeah. no worries um one thing i was going to mention like with hashtags and stuff like that um i'll mention it on another call um, but anybody who anybody who's quoting me with the hashtags or anything like that like that like if i say go to hashtag legal pages now if anybody's actually doing hashtag legal pages as a bookmark to say go and find it it then convolutes the whole idea of me using that as a bookmark now that post or whatever that comment becomes part of the bookmark so if you ever actually go to hashtag legal pages right now you actually search that right now there are three posts on there there are three posts on there so i'm gonna have to delete the other two and just make it the one and uh, to go about that, I, I actually go inside of the group. If I ever advise anybody, I just say, uh, search this group for colon hashtag space legal pages. And then underneath it, I put two fingers going up saying, remove the space. That's how I do it. So that there'll always be just one post. But anyway, I'll talk about that next week and actually show you. Um, either way, so John Griswold, you're next. Then Nancy, then Joshua, Paul, Renee, and then a Huawei y9 prime 2019 whoever that is how you doing darren uh oh vicky i see you. uh how you doing good okay i got a few questions we'll start with the first one um when i download videos onto my iphone i know you can use youtube or vimeo but uh youtube won't let you do it because you can't have more than one gmail account on the phone did i did somebody say that in one of our sessions before there was a workaround for that 
more than one account for YouTube, you mean? No, no. For Gmail, like I have two different Gmail accounts. I have the one I set up for this program, and then I have my other one for my own business. And it says on it something I, I can't I can't upload the YouTube video video editor or anything because I have two Google accounts on the phone. Has anybody run into that? And was there a workaround? No, I have like um, about you, seven different Gmail accounts and stuff. Who's that, Kenneth? Kenneth? Yeah, you? you can have is you can have more than one Gmail account on your phone you just have to log out of that one and go to into the other one yeah, uh, usually... yeah it, i tried to do that and it wouldn't let me do it in fact it wouldn't let me choose one or the other it asked me to completely remove one not oh. log out of it i have uh, the well, option to select it? a different account so on my phone on my iphone yeah. um, i don't know about android but like it shouldn't yep, be any on different. android definitely yeah. yeah so do you mean gmail account or google account gmail uh, oh, yeah, Gmail account. I'm sorry, a Gmail account. Yeah, I have like five on my phone right now. And like when you're on your phone and you're in the Gmail app, you go to the right hand corner, like your picture or your initial is up there. And if you tap it, you can add another account. You can switch between accounts. Okay, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll try it. I tried a couple of things, and that's why I was going to, my second question was going to be. Um, if everybody uses Vimeo, I, I thought Blake had said there was a free one, but everywhere I look, there's not. There's only a, um, a either a seven dollar a month or a free trial. Um, is that what everybody finds? There is. You are paying for the Vimeo account monthly. I, I don't. I don't pay for my Vimeo account. I mean, the basic one gives you like limited access. It has like. If you get a, a free account, just open it up and just upload a very short video and see what your options are. If you have Vimeo in the corner, I would prefer to have it off. I'd like to have like some extra customizations and things, but I use YouTube, 100% YouTube. I don't, I personally don't use Vimeo, but we use Vimeo with the Blake's Partner program so we can upload and do extra customization, remove any of those extra end features and all that kind of thing. So it appears correctly inside of these members areas. But for what I use inside of my, um, my member, my masterclass, uh, when the video finishes, there is no suggested videos. So make sure that if it's a, if you open up a brand new Google account, I've even actually, my Google account is actually a yahoo.co.uk. It allows me to log into YouTube. It allows me to log into my Google, but it's just an account. They just wanted an account so I could actually open up a new account. So if you want to make up a new email, if you want to make, if you want to associate an old email that you, you're already using that isn't associated with Gmail, it allows you to do that. So um, Gmail and YouTube, one of the same. Um, I've done that with my yahoo.co.uk, opened up a brand new uh, account, branded it affiliate leads machine and had no other, I don't subscribe, I don't comment, I don't do any any engagement in there. I just upload, unlist, and then the only other thing that I do is uh, allow embedding and that's it, it should work. Okay. So you shouldn't have to pay for anything. When your business grows, go and get Vimeo. You don't need it right now. You don't need to pay like what, you're gonna upload like two, three videos. Yeah, exactly. You don't need you don't need to pay for like six or whatever dollars a month it, it is. So go lean. If you want it, go get it. It's up to you. Okay. Um the next question, the done for you plus. Um two questions on that. When it is when you do set it up, you can you can set it up as a two pay. I think you had said that once before somebody did. Um you can set it up as a two pay, but can you also I, I don't know if it would be in the wording or where you would put it. Could you offer somebody, say it's um, just for round figures, it's $1,000, but you want to give them the $200 off on the two programs they paid or the three programs they paid before that, the one-time offer, the 1K, and the master class. Can you put that in the wording and just do that? Is that how you would do that? Uh, no. I would, I mean, I would, I, the way that I would do it, I was, I'd tell them that, here's your done for you Here, we're going to be doing this for you so if they've already purchased the previous items i would and anybody else can actually contest this and i'm happy to do so because like this is an open forum as well so whatever you're already doing great um what i've done is i've gone through the done for you plus i've seen it i've implemented it i've seen other people do it in different ways so you're absolutely well uh, welcome to customize it in whatever way you want to do it uh marketing can be taught in many different ways but like with with, with that with what i want to do is make sure that they collect all the other items before 
because if I if I if I've given everything on plate and they've purchased all the other items and they say Darren if I've already got all these things I don't need these things well actually you do because one if you if you ever wanted to go through the manual of it or to go through any one of the other products that you could, that can actually help you and supplement you towards the traffic generation with the 1,000 followers, 243 viral posts, eight months of content, which you, if you don't even post every single day, it's more than, more than eight months. And then the masterclass, if you actually wanted to get your son, your nephew, your daughter, whatever, to go out and do that for you, and it costs you nothing, that's one, they're teaching teaching them how to even use ClickFunnels, teaching them how to use ClickFunnels, and it's an option for them. It's a value add. It's, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't subtract it or anything like that. Um, I would have two separate pricing. If it was part of the value ladder, like as a fourth option, I would say it will be this price. If they don't get it and they go into the funnel, now they're inside of the members area. If they buy it on its own, you can do one of two things or three things. You could go to a page that says, oh, I'm sorry, you missed this out earlier. It was this price, cross out, but it's a higher price. Some, sometimes other people do it the other way around. It's like, it's not a thousand dollars, but it's 500. I'm doing the opposite. You right. can do it that way. So they missed it. It's a one-time offer. You lost it. So it's a lesson for them to learn, but also at the same time, do they want it? Do they not? And then there's a two pay option. So 30 days afterwards, if they actually trigger that off in the same way that the masterclass is do that. Um, that's the way that I would do it. That's the way I'd frame it. So, okay. so you don't have to worry about like giving access, removing access and stuff like that. You've already got this and no, I'm going to remove these because you've got this type of thing. You can do the whole funnel, fourth option, collect more money off the table and that's more value to them and then the last thing is that if it's a, it's a uh, i think if uh, melissa's not here today but anybody else is doing a done for you as well like you could do a done for you only which is a higher value maybe just do it for two thousand dollars and it already gives access to the previous products for example or just a done for you here you go there's your actual fi final funnel um we're going to apply it to whatever whatever you've got on your personal profile or group or page or whatever social platform they prefer um that's how i would do it now, if anybody else had, like wants to raise their hand and say, no, I prefer it doing this way. I know, um, Kenneth, you've got experience. Uh, Josh, you've got experience as well. So if you want to like just take the mic for a moment, if you have any other experience or have any other ideas that you or envisage, like you, you think of like, this is how I want to do my done, done for you plus, go ahead. I don't mind. So how, how do you guys want to do it? If, you, if you've already thought about it, no, if not, no, no worries. Uh, or we can grace on. Up to you. I think what you said is the excellent way to do it. I would be doing mine the same way as you were doing yours. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Josh? Yeah, that's the that's the one portion I'm not done done with. So, um, but yeah, I was thinking about doing it exactly that same way. So, cool. yeah. So yeah, definitely take your notes on the replay on that one because I did go over that really quickly. But definitely, that that's like something that I don't want in my business model because I want to nurture people. I want to take them from the ground up. And then when they when they're nurtured through me through my affiliate model, that's the way that where I start to like gain more leads and get people signed up to me in ClickFunnels. I have another three people that are waiting to sign up to me in ClickFunnels, but they're like, Darren, just pass me a link. I'm like, no, 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 I'm not going to give you the link just yet. We need to get on the call, and I just need to speak to you about the dark side. Make sure that you're signed up to me, guaranteed, and so that when you go forwards from there on forward, you will also guarantee the sign up for you instead of just just hoping that. Because a guy just said to me, he said, um, I've signed up using your link. I said, uh, you're not in the back office in ClickFunnels Affiliate. So you're not signed up to me. You're not going to be coached by me. Simple as. They're like, okay, well, I'll change it. He'll, they'll move. They'll move mountains for you. So if they know the value in you because you've already done this and this thing before, think of the long-term game plan. It might only be like, what, 20, 30, 40%. You guys should be all at 30% for ClickFunnels Affiliate. But the impact, the, co the compound effect from that is, is huge. Um, last time I heard was Blake had 649 click on signups underneath him. That's crazy. And then when 50 was removed overnight, it's just, he didn't feel it. <laughs> or maybe he did know, he may, he may, may be monitoring his figures and things, but like imagine if that happened to us, we lost 50 overnight and we weren't aware of what's going on in ClickFunnels. Definitely stay ear to the ground with what's going on with ClickFunnels. Like right now, Russell was talking about Funnel Hacking Live. There could have been an event where they'll be saying, hey, we've got a competition going on with the affiliate side of things. Make sure that you're in the ClickFunnels Avengers group so you can listen out to that. Uh, have you done a video on ClickFunnels Dark Side? Yes, 35, episode 35, right at the end. Um, there you go. So, um, John, do you have any other questions? Yeah, real quick, the last one. The change in the profile graphics, you said you get one change. 
do we have an end date on that? I mean, when we stop talking to you, can we still make a change down the road or is it end when our time with you ends? Uh, that's a great question. Well, you've paid into the program. So essentially like if you, if we didn't speak after this, after the six weeks or whatever, I don't hope we will. Uh, I hope we'll cross paths again, but like, I will see you on the six, every six, you know, during the six month call with Blake. So I will see you there, but I'll be more silenced, right. but I'll just be monitoring and listening out to what's happening and changing. But like you have the option to go through your own members area and actually submit a revision or whatever you need to change because it will be logged through the system. It's not for me to monitor. It's for the Kartra system where it's based at and everything will be logged in the right way and the support team will support you with that. So don't worry. Um, you can use, still use your one revision max after the six weeks. Okay, great. All right, all right. Um, yeah, uh, who we got? Uh, Nancy, Joshua, Paul. I want to zip through as many as I can. We've got like essentially 15 25 minutes left so nancy take to the stage go ahead okay mine are uh, pretty quick and i think you've covered the the first question i have is i still need to reach the design team so that they're not inputting and wasting a lot of time trying to work around my logo that is not the one i need and um, we, we talked about it on Tuesday, but, and I've spent the last two days trying to get there, but I don't know where to go. Okay, I think I've received some information the other day. I'm not sure if the design, design team or support team has reached out to you, but I think there was the form that was submitted without a logo. Um, did, did support or anybody get in touch with you to say that you needed to submit? Nobody's gotten in touch with me for the last five days. Okay, so oh yeah, thank you. that we were talking about the the email email issue last time, so that's an issue with Kartra. We've been in touch with Kartra, so we're waiting back to hear from them. So if you go back to the page where you're supposed to submit on that form with the logo, I think we've reset your tags for that. And I think there was another three people in the room, maybe Winnie. Um, if you could, are you waiting on anything as well, Winnie? Uh, Jens? If you're still here. Uh, there's another person as well. I just can't think off the top of my head who else it would be. Uh, sorry, I uh, didn't get it. What, what, you, what you said. So have you received any of your graphics yet or anything? No. We uh, did, didn't get the graphics. We um, requested for the graphics um, last week on Friday or Saturday, but uh, it's not arriving yet. Okay, definitely go through and do the form again because I, I received information that uh, Nancy, Jens, Winnie, and there was one other person, uh, we hadn't received your logos. So I need to find out who the last person is and I'll message you inside of the messenger group and I'll let you know. But definitely go through to uh, the custom graphics, redo the form, submit that in, let me know inside of the messenger group, say that I've done the form and then uh, we want to make, make sure that they everything's all firing off and the team are receiving whatever they need to receive. We need to make sure that you go scrolling all the way down to the bottom of the form. And then when it says submit, make sure sure that that's been clicked on. It sounds like you've all submitted, which is great, uh, but without a logo. So the team are not going to continue going ahead without having everything all in place. So if you do, if you go through that, let me know inside of the messenger group and we can go forward from there. So Darren, where does that start? Uh, six done for you, custom graphics. It's which six? No, yeah, number six, D F Y. And then inside of there is custom graphics. It's like the third option down inside of number six. Okay, Stripe we hook up with through um, ClickFunnels. Yes. Okay, and yeah. the last question is: I keep trying to get on a call with Blake on. Wednesdays is he not on a call on Wednesdays? Uh, every month, third Wednesday of the month for six months. So you meet him the six third times. Third Wednesday. Yeah. If you, you if you uh, register using one register, click on his link and then make that registration again. Bring that into your calendar on your Google Calendar, and then it will always show up in your calendar. So you won't have to worry about which third Wednesday or anything. So at least on your phone, you can have have Google Calendar. Google Calendar. Well, well, can anyone hear that? There's an echo there. Um, 
have Google Calendar on your phone, have Google Calendar on your desktop so they can, you're always seeing where you need to be. Uh, one for the 4 p.m. EST for mine on the Tuesdays and Thursdays and Blake's fits on the Wednesday right in between. Uh, it's the, usually the third Wednesday of the month. Last month he went one week early. So if there's any change, you should be emailed all about that or receive information inside of the messenger group if you're still active in there. So hopefully you'll be fully aware if any changes need, need to be. Usually he's very hard set with his times, but if there's any clash, if he needs, need, needs to go to a meeting or anything like that, then you'll see him on that third Wednesday of the month. Okay. It, so, and that's on Zoom? That'll be on Zoom, yeah. Yeah, it's a separate link from mine. They look the same, but they're not. Um, so definitely okay. register for his separately. Great question, though. Um, oh, so, Thank yeah. You. No worries. So Jens, Nancy, uh, if you message me inside of the messenger group, then I'll, I'll know that you've actually submitted before and I can actually tell the team that you've done so and check up on that. And that third person, I'm not sure who that person is, but I'll I'll figure that out and message inside of the group as well. Okay, next one, we're gonna go Joshua. Off you go. There we go. I was trying to find the unmute button. <laughs> so uh, basically on, on our main funnel, um, couple of questions I just I just shot new uh, videos yesterday so I got new master the master class and intro video and all that stuff done um, but what I was wondering is on the main funnel you were saying on the last call the testimonial images does somebody do those with our name instead of Blake's on them or do, or do we need to customize those ourselves so when this was originally done, it's been like over a year now, and everyone was asking about this, like originally it did have SMLM, Blake Newbar, Social Media Lead Machine all over those testimonials and everything. Um, and then at some point we went to the to the legal team and they said, no, it's okay, you can actually remove them because they're talking about the same thing, but they're not mentioning it. So those those ones were the, the, the extracted, they haven't been edited or anything, but they were extracted um going forwards we've spoken i've spoken to the team uh, about this um and most people don't even read the testimonials but either way it makes no it makes it, it actually makes no difference to if i actually swatch because i'm going to be swapping mine out anyway to from um mine that don't have it now definitely don't go and copy and paste mine because they'll we're, we're talking about legalities here so you're essentially talking about Blake's program, the social media lead machine. Now, if you go through and see that your testimonials say Blake Newbar, BN, thanks, Blake. Well done. Thanks. Thanks so much, dude. Don't worry about it because you are essentially showing them the door to get into your members area and they will see Blake anyway. At the same time as when you're actually collecting up your testimonials, get into the habit inside of a group or inside of a messenger group, start taking screenshots, start replacing them. You will have you'll gain momentum with this, and I have I can replace all of mine with my own videos and everything like that. I, I can I can be really lazy with this. There is no real importance of changing those out, so don't feel like there's going to be like one imposter syndrome. Two, you're actually feeding them into your own members area, and also um, the idea of them th thinking, okay, this is not the social media lead machine, this is the affiliate lead machine. Like, okay. don't worry. I've had a look at this, and I th I thought, okay, this is going to be really really, this is going to be a tough one. Seeing if, seeing what the reaction would be not from yourselves, but from the end user audience who are going to our funnels. Now, if they know that that's in place and they meet you and they know you and they see your video, I don't know what you've shot inside of your introduction, not introduction, your actual two-step order form video. If you've actually done a video there, and even if you haven't, like I haven't, it would one, give you more power inside of that video to be that authority figure and say that I've, par I've partnered up with Blake Newbar, but you don't have to do that at that moment right there. If they ever have a question from a customer saying like, this is the social media lead machine, no problem. You're taking coaching at the higher level and able to speak to him once per month and get all the insider information uh, going forward. So, oh, Marianne's had a power outage. So just had info on that. No worries, it's okay. We'll catch you on the replay. Um, but yeah, no, don't worry just about say, this. Just say, yeah, we're partners. Absolutely. Yeah, you can say your partners. I mean, even take a take a screenshot from the live when you're actually on there and actually put it inside of your members area if you choose to. Okay. You're very welcome to do so. You have been there in attendance. I've I've used a GIF inside of mine to say that, look, I am a two comma club X partner and I'm working with him. Um, you should be able to do that. I don't see any reason why, but I would also like message the team first to get permission. Yeah. Um, so at least everything's all in accordance. We, we run a really tight ship with everything. Like um, we've seen a group that has been opened with Blake's image on a car 
the accelerator, the rebirth or the re-accelerators or something like that. I know there's about 40 people in there. Um, that's not part of the branding. And so he needs to protect his image and everything like that. So uh, that might yeah. be removed, most likely, evidentially. Yeah. Can I say something here? Yeah, go ahead. There's, uh, uh, there's uh, Joshua, I, I see in my end here, I'm looking at my website right now. There's only one place I have uh, Blake's name only, eh? Yeah, so it depends, Nicola depends, Doge. Nicola Doge. So, so it depends on the funnel. So it depends on the funnel what you had. So previously it didn't have it. Now that the funnels have been all rolled out and we've had to like speak to the legal team on several occasions about this, now they're saying that you have to have it in there. Now when you get when you actually start collecting your own testimonials, swap them out, change them out, do your own graphics and images and stuff. It takes seconds to take a screenshot collect all your testimonials and everything just have conversations with your customers and say hey what, what do you think about your lead, this lead machine did you gain any value from it or anything take a screenshot are you okay with me actually using this as a screenshot instead of my funnel yeah okay cool they they get to use that they, they, people people start going towards you because you're on that funnel now so like i i get i came into the social media lead machine because somebody in the uk there was a girl in the uk i didn't even know who she was but she's from like romania but living in the uk down south and because of that and i knew that she was she's been on lives and all that kind of thing and she's not in the funnels world anymore she's doing other studies but because of that i thought okay there must be something going going on real here and i was actually avoiding Blake. I was avoiding Blake. And then it took, took to that one moment, whether it's attraction marketing, I don't know. Whatever was going on at the time right there, I thought, okay, well, if she thinks that the social media lead machine is great, because he has a ton of videos on his, not just the, just, the, the, just the text, he has a ton of videos. Definitely utilize videos. Get your, get your uh, customers to start shooting a video. When they've just finished their funnel, follow up with them. You can even check, check inside your members area, like how much of the funnel have they done? Most likely they, it will say like 90 to 100% follow up with them. Just do a quick check. It doesn't take much. You can send that out to a VA, but it doesn't take much to go through your own members area and check out the members, how much are they actually done, consumed of, of the uh, lead machine. So definitely follow up. I'm in touch with them. I always, I always see them inside of a messenger group. So um, it's a lot easier for me and I don't have to do that, but at least you've got some ideas going forwards. But definitely de definitely start utilizing the power of using videos. If you look at um, socialmedialeadmachine.com forward slash masterclass, go and have a look at that page. Go and have a look at the sea of videos that he has there. It just it's endless. It's massive. It's huge. Uh, how do we get Kenneth? How do we get the 3D animation? Great question. So 11 done. Uh, 11 launch in accelerator. Second or third option down. That's where you have that complementary, both for accelerator and for elites. You also have done for you. Done for you uh, plus. Do not. I know, you, I know it's exciting. You know, you're watching the, the webinar and you're thinking, oh my God, I have to pay for it. No, it's complimentary. There's a form right underneath the done for you. I've seen somebody purchase and we've had to refund. If you go to that link that's on that video where Blake did it live for the very first time, there was a price of 797. The done for you plus is free for you guys. Okay, inside of the main program, you have to pay for that. Um, so please don't pay for it because we have to issue a refund. <laughs> but either way, we might have to get a video above that inside of the members area. We may just find, find that there's some flaws inside of the, the program, but do let us know. If you ever find anything and something that could be improved, just let me know. Like something that doesn't make any sense. I, I got together with uh, one of the partner, I won't mention any names, you know, um, and we just uh, sort of hashed things out. And I thought, okay, why is things kind of going rocky here? Why is it suddenly, it's because we made a change. We made a change to the Done For You Plus. And then we realized that, ah, now that's caused a hole in the road. And the Done For You Plus hadn't had a change for a long time. So we added this extra thing. It was to do with the PSD files and everything. Now, now we have a, we got a, a Fiverr designer in there. So before we didn't even suggest that, it was assumed from the Blake Partner Program, Elite and Accelerator didn't exist. The Done For You Plus was opened up and it's assumed that previously from that old training, now Josh probably has seen this, um, in the section where you're actually going out and do your own, your, your own design, you, there's an option to actually go and speak to a designer. Um, and it's assumed that you'd know what to say to them. So I need to get a brief document embedded inside of Done For You Plus and iron out that. So I haven't got that in place just yet. You know who you are. Um, but I need, I need to, I've already spoken to the team and they'll get a document inside of that Done For You Plus right above, right between the PSD files that you download and then what to say to the designer. And then you could either use the what designer that's already referred to inside of there or find your own. So uh, we need to get that document in place. Just uh, hang tight with that. And we'll get you all squared off. I'm just going to have a look at a, few, a couple of other questions here. How do we get into register with Blake's called Carlos? If you go to one register, first option down, uh, you should be good with that. I don't see any other questions inside of the, no worries. Uh, Josh, do you have any other questions? Yeah, just real quick. The, the two videos that are on the main $7 blueprint page, are those both the same videos, the ones with the testimonials? 
Yeah, both the same. I think Blake talked about it in number six or number five. Go and check okay. out those two videos. He did say that um, there was ability I, to... I edited them already, so but I just didn't know if they were in fact supposed to be the same. same no, it's, it's a great question though, because it was actually highlighted in number five or six. So like, I'll just, yeah. you know, I'm glad you asked that question. So uh, second video in the two-step order form, um, he was, this is where he mentioned live that he could give the file to go off to a designer we won't be taking care of that because each and every one would be different on that sense um it's a, it's a video animation of a booklet go and have a look at social media leave com. go into the second video you'll have a look it's like a booklet all these chopping and changing things great graphics get great uh music going on in there and you could potentially change that video out for that so go and check out social media leave com, and you can see that but no great question those two videos on your funnel are the same okay uh present uh, okay um and then final question, uh, I did set up SMTP finally, so I did get that sorted with with connecting my email. Um, awesome. is, the, is there a training inside of there to um, show me how to get basically that initial email pushed into my active campaign, or is that something that I need to have you show me offline? So you're talking about the one that's connected to the, the product? Yeah, so like once, once someone enters in their information, how do I get that pushed over into my autoresponder? So this is kind of me thinking off the cuff just now. So are you on the 97 or 297 plan? Uh, of ClickFunnels? Sorry, yeah. 97. Okay, I'm thinking of there might be an ability to actually integrate Zapier for that so for you to get that like as a zap, a tag, and then push that out. Uh, it's the only way I can actually think about it. Uh, Kenneth, maybe... Oh, you're right. I actually know how to do it. Now you know how to do it? Yep, now that you just said that, it just fell out of my head. So, huh. okay, how, you, how are you going to do it? Uh, inside, inside of the main funnel, like if you click in settings, there's a, and you scroll down, it'll say zap to active campaign. And so you yeah. just have to connect your active campaign account, your Zapier, um, your click funnels basically. And then it'll, it'll auto push when somebody fills that out into your active campaign and fire off your auto series. And that's in yeah. your main, the main, uh, click funnel settings, right? Or in yeah. the, yeah, not in the funnel yeah. setting. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Right. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I've that's never done that. I've never done that before, but because I've gone straight to 297 plan, 12 months, and then I'm rolled on to a six month. So I've never had to figure that part out because I use uh, SendGrid and I just use everything that's also inside of the follow-up funnels in there. Um, so it's great questions. No, $97 plan is nice. Nice to have that Zapier going off. Zapier can do a lot of things. I've only just started using it myself because I'm using Kartra as well as Zapier to give out licenses, f fill in the form. It opens up like a, an amazing members area and then pushes out like two, two free, free tools. So um, I'm looking into like upgrading that right now because only when you reach that pain point, um, then you'll need to grow. So that's completely separate, but it's good to know in future. Have a look at have a look at YouTube and have a look at Zapier. Have a look at an introduction of what that actually does because I didn't even bother checking out what that is. Darren, have another look. Hey, no worries. Cool. Good to see you. Catch you next time. Um, so, Paul, next, go ahead, and then we have Renee, Trang, and Vicky. Um, can I ask a question first about what you just talked about? Uh, who's this? It's Michelle. Oh, hey, Michelle. How are you doing? Good, good. You guys? Good, um, good. What I was following along and typing some notes, but I'm like, wait, which section is he talking about integrating Zapier with in the funnel? Yeah. Which part of the funnel in the two-step? Uh, you don't need that. It's just something oh. that he's already he's uh, he's been marketing for a while and stuff. So he's using the basic account and just trying to think off the cuff, just like how can that actually happen with connection to the email that's attached to the product. And right now, how I've always been taught, uh, teaching it is that you need SendGrid, but he wants to use his autoresponder, and so he will oh, need some sort of connection. Zapier. Yeah. So that's how. Okay. I was just, kind of curious about that because I've heard about Zapier a lot in other groups and not as much with SendGrid and I didn't know if it was, you know, mattered. Yeah, that's it. That's only if he, 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 like, I was thinking, how can somebody, instead of using that email that's attached to that product, how can they use their own autoresponder? And I was thinking, no, you just have to use SendGrid, just get it, it's free, uh, don't worry about it. And then I was just been using Zapier the other day. So I thought, okay, that's that, that'd be perfect. Without even having doing it myself, I, I already know, like, the system's behind the scenes. So... Uh, it was a great question though really good question so like you won't need it inside of the program right now i don't even need it for this program it's just that i'm using it for carter and something else so i thought that might be relevant okay got it because he's already doing other things all right yeah thanks. 
Yeah, no, good question. Um, Paul, Renee, Trang, and then Vicky. We're at two minutes past the hour. Let's go. Yeah. Hey, uh, <laughs> um, my quick question I have for you, and uh, Darren, um, I want to add my masterclass video on it, but uh, I have been running my, I launched it without even doing those two videos, no introduction, no masterclass class. It's just still, my, my thing still plays a McDonald video. <laughs> But I'm, I'm getting sales with that, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> so I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking okay. to add it. <laughs> I'm you mean on your mobile my... or your desktop? You mean your mobile or desktop where the video is playing? Or both? They on the boat. No way. That's crazy. Both, so if you actually both. haven't got your video in place, all you need to do is just remove that video element and place a picture instead and just put the two box element, not the five box with the five phases at the bottom. Because if you're thinking about the psychological play that when they're going through the form, when they're going through that page on the masterclass, and I've done it incorrectly. If you actually go to mine, it's incorrect. My thumbnail is of the five box, five phases, and they haven't even been introduced to anything yet. It doesn't make any difference. It doesn't, ma it doesn't matter. But I would definitely get that McDonald's video removed because um, okay. it's going to talk about click funnels. It's like, they're okay. clicking on this like, huh? What? Okay. Oh, hey, you know what? Nobody has complained as of yet, and most of the people are buying like full program. And uh, yeah, I know you're telling them to here. buy everything. <laughs> exactly. A few people I have here actually, I told them, hey, you don't need to buy the whole program. Why don't you buy just like payment installment? It doesn't matter. So anyhow, so I did my both video now. Uh, How do I uh, place those video links there without using Vimeo, do, or do I have to use a Vimeo link? Uh, I would just. Uh, have you got a YouTube account? Have you got a a uh, brand new new account, new email, or an old email that's never used G G uh, Google or YouTube before, you can create an account by using an old email or brand new Gmail and then go into your YouTube account and then just start branding it off as whatever lead machine, whatever you've called it. Um, do not subscribe to anything else. Do not add any videos in there publicly. Do not do anything else apart from unlist those videos and make that video in the settings uh allow embedding and you should be good once you grab that link you're just doing the same thing as uh previously trained inside of, well hopefully it's trained inside the program but if it's not hard to add a video go to help.clickfunnels.com and just type in help uh, add video okay .com. so i cannot host those videos right on my dropbox or something like that no, 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 it has to be. It has to be on a video hosting a provider. So the only options it will tell you here on this bit. Add video. Look, watch this. Add video. They go. Add videos. Click funnels page is, and it'll tell you at the top. It'll say which ones. There we go. Right here. YouTube, Vimeo, and Wister, and more. I would use YouTube or Vimeo, whichever one you'd prefer. Not many people. I, I've not really heard of many people using Wister, but there you go. Watch that video. Pause it, and it'll give you an example of how to how to actually either. Add a video element, what to do with the link, and all that kind of thing. You'll be completely guided. Okay. Okay. Add okay. video. But do I need to add video? My question, the next question was this: Should I add? I should add. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Add, add the video. You know, you message it when your message lands, it lands. And if you don't have a video in place right now, amazing. But imagine if you have all. Imagine if you're running ads to this, or you're bringing a lot of people to this, or you're doing an event or something like that, and then suddenly, they. Um, they run into that particular McDonald's video. I'm like, what? This is kind of out of sync. Um, mm -hmm. And you've not had much dialogue in between rather than just, just grab my stuff. Um, yeah. See you later, Spencer. Um, so with that image, so with, with that video, I would actually remove that element if you haven't got your videos in place ready. That's for anybody. And then place the two box, two box image as a image element. And then when you're ready, remove that, place the video there. Make sure that you're changing out the video URL in both desktop and mobile the elements are not the same they look the same but there you need to change add the url for youtube or vimeo in both locations desktop and mobile that is why i never got a masterclass sale until like month five or month four i think month four because i didn't have my my mobile video in place People were reaching oh. that place, and it, it wasn't even a McDonald's video. For some reason, connect uh, there was it was just a video placeholder, and there was nothing in there. And so there was some glitchy thing going on with ClickFunnels at the time. So I was thinking, like, why is why is everyone just getting one hundred and ninety-seven dollars and everything all trifecta? Like, why why me? Am I in a dud program? It was me. I broke my funnel. 
and that's where everything that's why i told you on the onboarding call like where, where i actually made my first masterclass sale i was still a customer then things started to spiral i wanted to figure out more things what's going on with the funnel which is why i'm here for you today so definitely change those out it's very important um the message lands and all i have is a powerpoint a slide presentation with my voice my, uh, some music and that's the message that lands you then start bringing in authority you're talking for like six to eight minutes maybe 10 minutes on this and you can introduce like uh who's done the super awesome cartoony one recently who is that renee where are you she's there somewhere no way um she's here she was there yeah um yeah so like you know i i was i was like "Mm, these power tunes i'm not too sure oh there you are I was saying these power tunes, I'm not really sure they're really slow, but then when she came out with that, that's completely different to what I've seen before. So it's super cool to actually see. So if you're not, if you don't want to be on camera, you can always get somebody, a Fiverr actor or actress, get them to do the script for you, get them to read it out for you. Try and do as much as you can yourself before you give it out to somebody else, because you're going to be evolving as a marketer, try and do it. But if you can get, I think Renee, how, how, how long did it take for you to do that one for you? Um, it took me off and on for like two and a half weeks because for me it was because, you know, my time is distracted a lot, uh, with with multiple jobs, but, but yeah, it, it took me about two and a half weeks. If I had sat down and did it straight through, it probably would have taken three days maybe. Wow. If I did it, you know, full time straight, but there's a lot that goes into doing it and making it look like that. It's not your traditional pow tune. Oh, yeah. You know, it's, it didn't it's look got like it. enhancements. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. It looks like a high production, that kind of thing that you see for a, like a 997 or a 2997 type of intro. Um, and when I saw that, I thought, no way, that's crazy. She did that all herself. Even like the expressions, I felt yeah, like you put on like a a suit which enacted whatever you wanted them to do and stuff i don't know it's pretty cool so well done with doing that for three days by the way uh renee's going to be doing everybody's videos just to let you know you're going to be no i'm joking i'm joking (laughs) (laughs) renee can you do mine all you need to do is if you wanted to get that done you could go to fight yeah there's a fee of course three days of your time right but um Good question for you. You, is can there, go to fi- uh, you can go to Fiverr as well, okay? They can do it a lot faster. Renee, we need to we need to offload Renee, but if she wants to, it's her choice. But anyway, yeah, go ahead, Paul. Uh, quick question, the other one I have. Um, uh, my video is Masterclass uh, video is a 12 minute long. Is it too long? I'm, I'm trying to shorten it. I don't know how to shorten it anymore. It's like I have done as fast as I can. And then just leave it at 12 minutes and just see what happens. Yeah. Did you add is it? There, is there any way for me I can see uh, others a masterclass video like um, like Renee's or anybody else they posted somewhere at all? I, yeah, I shared mine. I think I shared my link with the group um, to it, but I don't mind sending it again. But you know what I had to do to make it happen was I really had to trim all of the repetitiveness. You know, you're saying the same thing five times five ways. Um, I was I was more into you know, let's be more succinct and to the point. And I didn't want to waste anybody else's time more than my own, you know. Um, so I got mine down. I think I was down to, I think my whole video is like, what, five or six minutes? Really? That's fast. Mine is added with doodly. Yeah. It's like almost 12 minutes. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, I, I cut mine down and just to get the point across. Okay. Until wow. you get that video up, that two box image place, is that something that it'll walk me through? Because I'm going to be getting to that now, you know, closer to that. So is that, does it, does it like tell me where to get that image or? Uh, it's only custom graphics. So whenever you get that delivered to you, you should see your masterclass custom graphics and you go in there and there'll be one that says, I'm just going to actually just pull up one of mine right now. Uh, let's just see which one is it. Why are you yeah, doing can... that, Renee? Can you drop that link? Yeah, everybody who actually has done that video for the masterclass, drop it inside of the Facebook Messenger group, and then everybody else can see everybody else's examples. That'd be a great thing to go forward with. Is that would that be helpful? That'd be awesome. Oh, cool. That'd be really helpful for me. I'm because I'm not quite there yet to make sure I'm on the right wavelength. Okay, I'm just ch- trying to find mine here, and then they're going to share screen. I think it's it's just loading up. So going back to Zoom, 
All right, just going to show my screen. So this is not what not to do. So on my on my thumbnail, I, this is the, what I call the five box. This five box five five phase. I should have actually put this image. I call that the two box. It's too early to even see that visually and make that connection, but they want to scroll through and say, oh, by the way, I'm going to give you phase one. I'm going to give you phase two, three, four, five, and then suddenly build it up mentally. And we're going to show you what's inside of these boxes, essentially, uh, and then go through and then add, oh, by the way, we're going to give you this bonus. We're going to give you this bonus. We're going to give you this bonus. And here's the actual text stack. And then eventually the five box. So I did that incorrectly and launched imperfectly. It still works, but I don't, if I was to do this again, I'd have to edit that thumbnail or the video. It's actually just a thumbnail on YouTube. Uh, you can see YouTube on the bottom right hand side as well. You can see I've called it the Affiliate Leads Machine Masterclass uh, for that particular video. I do not care if they click out and go to YouTube. If I if they click there, they, most likely they won't. They get, they're used to seeing the big orange button right here. Makes no difference. They still buy. So um, there's that two box that you're talking about. That'll be inside of your uh, custom graphics if you go into. Uh, did you all want to see where that is? Just in case. You're yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. Let's see it. Okay. Have you already had your custom graphics already, Paul or Michelle? Mine, yeah. My graphics were done a long time ago. Okay. I think go. I've had my graphics for a long time, although I just submitted that, unless it's for that other deal that I just did. I think did I'm here for 90 days see. almost now. Okay. Let's go into Michelle's. Yeah. You can check it out. See what I got. Cool. Custom graphics. And there'll be another custom graphics, I think. Yep. And then you're going to Masterclass. There you go. It should be in there. And then one of these, it should be like 20 is the big box. And then maybe I think it's 10. No, you can see it here. There it is. Number yeah, two. I think I loaded all those images in already. Yeah. So there's your two box. I would put that that picture in place of the video until you oh. put your video in place. Oh, OK. Yeah. So right here, like what Blake has suggests inside of, the, inside of his previous calls, as well as uh, when he used to do it live, is that if you don't have this video ready and you don't want to have that McDonald's one, you don't want that ClickFunnels one, it's just completely out of, out of place. Remove right. this element, place an image element, and then add that to box. Okay. Add that in there. Oh, That's awesome. put that, use that instead of the one you were just showing me until I can do a video. Like, yeah. use that other one in place of what you're showing right now until yeah. I can do the video so they don't go out and go into ClickFunnels. Yeah, because essentially, like, you've already got your pages built and everything. And if you've got customers that are just waiting and hanging at the door, and if they already trust you, know, like, and trust you, they'll buy you, just like Paul, like, you know, he hasn't even got his video in place yet, but he's got his video ready. But it depends on your type of customer. But if you can avoid that, I know some people are doing killer with this um, without even having a video and placing that placing that two box image in there. So definitely use so, that. So Darren, I have another question rise right here. I'm sorry, Michelle. Um, no, that's okay. Uh, like for example, like uh, to in order to remove the McDonald's video, I have to remove the basically link from from inside, right? Uh, there's there's no, that. There is no link inside of that video element. That's it's just a video placeholder. So when you add an element of a video, like uh, as a video, if there is no link inside of there, it will show programmed in the click funnels Dara's saying yeah they will show that without even adding a link in there so it's like when you preview it it makes more sense for the end users oh that's where the video goes because you can't actually play videos inside of the video editor or the page editor you cannot so how do i remove it can you show me please i'm kind of like lost at this point you want me to break my funnel <laughs> <laughs> all right let me yeah, get, i'd like get... to know where where that is in that part too because i'm thinking <laughs> okay we're gonna have to replace it a oh, couple man. times i better make sure i know where where that is unless blake walks through it perfect that's fine but i'm assuming paul's already been there and he's not sure that he can remember where so. okay i'll take you through go no, go Vicky, no worries. all right take care Vicky. Mm -hmm. um i pasted my link in there so you guys can go watch the video if you want to cool 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 Excellent. in the chat in the yeah, zoom or facebook awesome. messenger in in the chat for the meeting Oh, yeah. Okay. So could Thank someone you. take that link yeah. and then place it inside of the Facebook Messenger? I know that she's probably on the phone instead. So if you could just grab and copy and paste that Google link or click on it first and then copy it from the browser, uh, place it in the Facebook Messenger chat. Um, da -da -da -da. Right. I'm just going to see if I can actually break my funnel for a second. Uh, oh, yeah. I've got, an, I've got a 197 version of it. I've, I don't use that anymore. Okay. Okay, where is it? Let's click on There you are. 
There you go. So I'm on the masterclass. I'm not on this one, this tab. That's where the live version is. I've dropped the 197. I just kept it just in case I wanted to go back if there was no buyers, but there are buyers uh, at the 297. I'm going to move it to 697 very shortly. Um, I've had a customer come back to me recently and saying, hey, Darren, like it, I've got like I've got the 251 already. That's 747. Uh, two nine what a one nine seven, and uh, I said no. It's gone. You spoke to me like three weeks ago. Anyway, so here it is. I mean, the page is there for for on desktop. So all you need to do is just can that. Okay. Great. And inside of the blue row, you're gonna go underneath that orange element. Click on the plus icon, and you're gonna find image. Okay. That I'll just place that there with a the space. I'm going to remove that <laughs> top margin. Watch the replay if I'm going too fast. No worries. And then I'm going to place in... Let's see, what have I got? There's the two box. Okay, so there's the big one. Where's the other one? Can anyone see it? It's not that one. That's the SCM metadata. In my right there. Underneath. There it is, that one there. So that's what I'd put there in place. And I'd probably remove that because there's no like, make sure the sound is turned on. So I'd remove that as well. Okay. Um, I might even right click it and save it if, if possible, or at least take it, or at least click on it first and click on, where is it? There it is. The cog is up here. It's really strange. It's an element, but I'm just I'm thinking how, I, how, there it is. There's the orange cog. I want to save that somewhere wherever I can actually get the grain or grab the image for that. I, I'm, I'm not going to go through that, but you can do that there. This is, I think it's actually, I don't think it's an image. It's actually a head. Yes. It's actually just a headline. It's a headline. Yeah. <clears throat> there's a, there's, there's another version of where it's an actual GIF image where they've got the arrow. So that's what I'm getting confused with. In this, anyway, this sorry, headline, can you write this masterclass? Say again? In this headline where it says, make sure your sound is turned on, can you write just masterclass? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, just like just a masterclass or whatever it is, but you've already got it above it, so you don't really need it. So you can just remove this bar completely. So yeah, absolutely. You can do that too. Um, don't forget to do it on mobile as well. And so that, that's what I'm saying. It's completely a different element. But when I'm, to when I'm talking about is like, you need to click on this, whether it's desktop or mobile, and add your link here separately. If you change one, it's not going to change the other. It's the way is it's programmed. You, is that where you also, I remember you guys talking about, make sure you hit your enter key when you're oh, yeah. done putting I, it in. I would what do what that part too. is that? Anytime is that you add in, those? I would say anytime I get into the habit of doing it with ClickFunnels because I don't like right. the idea of it not locking in. So anytime right. I add a link or a share link or something, a URL, I want to make sure it's locked in. So I just get in the habit of doing it. And it'll probably already take on with the video element. I've not had any problems without having to hit enter, but I do it anyway. Um, it's when I've added like inside of the members area, that's why I've seen the problem with that. But very good question though. Um, yeah, because so I think I've tried hitting enter after I dropped something like that in and it doesn't seem like it did anything. Like it didn't drop down to another box or anything like that. And I thought, oh, I wonder if it did anything. Maybe I don't understand this enter bit. Make sure you hit enter. <laughs> yeah, good question. And with this one, it might be a little bit more finicky because it's actually going over two layers. So I'd actually uh, add the image right here underneath the video and then remove the video afterwards. See what I mean? Like I'd remove right. that I'd remove that right there and hopefully that would sit in the right place. There might be some sort of overlapping going on right there. Say, see there, mm -hmm. and then I can actually change out the image and hopefully that will look right and just make sure that it does because uh, we're going just slightly outside of the normal training for that but that should be it right there and i'll just do that and i'll save that but i'm not going to save it on this one so it appears above on both sections which fits quite nicely but also remove that so it, it just runs quite nicely visually and they'll be able to scroll on the phone so hopefully that makes sense does that all make sense everyone why well, you remove this plus button here little green plus button what this yeah that's just in the video uh, the page editor so you don't have to worry about that uh, Dan. Yeah, oh. go ahead. Oh, I was going to make a comment on what Michelle was saying that about um, the fact that she didn't know where the videos, when you're adding, whenever you're adding any um, links, mostly, but it's mostly the links that, that I found, you'll see them pop up underneath the actual video. So if you're linking, I mean, underneath the actual button or if you're link, if you're adding a link, like you're 
um, your affiliate link to something, mm -hmm. you got to hit that enter and then it'll pop it down below that button, whatever you're linking. And that's how you tell. So look at the button to see that something's changed. So before you hit the enter key and then after, because I know that that like I did, I updated my funnel and um, never hit that enter key ever. <laughs> so you had to redo then it I all. Went back, then I went back and none of my stuff was linked as I was going through my videos. So mm. I found that out way late. So I'm just telling everybody on the phone because today is my last, my last uh, day oh. in here. So no way. No I think way. so. I think so. So wow. um, uh, just those are, that would be the one thing for newbies is is always just hit that enter key because <laughs> it doesn't matter. Anytime you, yeah. Anytime you drop in a link, enter a tab. I know I did the tab. And not just that. That works too. That does work in the too. Footer yeah, as well. Your headers and footers where you add your support at your domain or, or your legal pages or whatever. Anytime mm -hmm. you have a blue box, it is, oh. um, <clears throat> it's, it's where you have to make sure that when you're entering information in any kind of blue box, make sure you hit the enter key. That's that's where I've noticed it come up. So yeah, because you know that was one thing I noticed the other night. I was I went back in and I went, oh my gosh, at all my footers, I had changed out out of my logo, but I forgot one of the things when Blake goes through. I mean, he goes through really detailed, right? I totally missed it until it popped at me last night that I hadn't changed. It said your like your website or your whatever, no, your company's name. Your domain. And then it had the copyright yeah. 2020, all rights reserved. I hadn't changed that out and put my company's name in there. I'm like, oh crap. So I did that, but I don't, I didn't hit enter. After, well, I hit enter to bump some things down and make it look nice if I needed to. But you're saying at the very end of after typing that in, you have to hit enter. I mean, I hit save and it looked like yes, it saved everything. I went back in and I looked and it looks like it's saved. <laughs> so are you telling me hit, it's going to look like I saved it? Saved. But when you, but, as long okay. as you saved it. But when you hit okay. play, then it's not going to okay. be Okay, we can hang out afterwards. What we're going to do is going to try and skim through the rest of the questions. Okay, so sorry. apologies. Uh, I just want to make sure that I'm utilizing everyone else's time and being respectful of everything. Yes. We can talk about everything else afterwards, like these links and saving and stuff like that. So sorry if you feel like I'm being abrupt. I just want to make sure that everyone else's question is being answered. So Renee, Trang, do you have any questions? Let's go. No, 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 no. You good? You good? You good? Yes. <laughs> Okay. I, I gotta run. Sorry. I'm gonna. All right. See you guys Paul, later. See Paul. Good to see you. Okay. See bye, you Paul. Good to run. All right. See you, Paul, Thank you, everybody. Renee, okay. do you have any questions? Okay. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I finally got my video. Now that I've got my videos done and, and up on Google, I have them in place and I put them into my funnel and I'm going through trying to get through the checklist, the launch checklist there. Because, yep. you know, um, as by the time you get to this point, you're kind of pre-launched soft anyway, yep. which I have. And I did manage to get that one sell so far, but I haven't done any ads or anything yet. Um, so going through the checklist of making sure that everything is there, um, do you, is there anyone on the team um, that uh, on the advanced team that um audit funnels and make sure everything's right there is nobody that's doing that, that that i'm the only one that did that that was just off my own back so like if you ever wanted to look, this is what i was saying uh previously as well it's a very good a very good thing that you highlighted this so if you ever wanted like a second pair of eyes do what i did so i'm trying to emulate what i did to make myself as best as i could so if you wanted to pair up with somebody definitely uh, whoever's like closer to the end as well just message inside of the group while she's still in there. Say, hey, anybody wants to actually just like have a look at my funnel. I'll put my funnel in test mode or whatever it is. And I'll just go, you don't even need to like give a sub user access inside of your ClickFunnels account. You just need to give them a test, test uh, turn on your test mode in, in your ClickFunnels account. They can use test data and go through the funnel and they can see and just scroll through in desktop and mobile. And then they can kind of just let you know afterwards, like, oh, I found this, I found this, I found this. So there's a, test, there's a test version? Uh, there's Think no, it's, it's, there's the it's the one funnel that goes into test mode. So I I know that you're live already, 
but uh, if you're not sending any traffic to it, I wouldn't worry about it. But if you go into uh, Stripe order form testing inside of help.clickfunnels.com, I'll just show you real quick so it's recorded. Um, so I'll just, uh, let me just go here. There's the group, help.clickfunnels.com. And then you go to Stripe order form testing. That shows you how to actually put your funnel in test mode. Uh, Stripe order form testing, there we go. Just type in Stripe. And then just watch for us and do that, video, that particular video. And then uh, it looks like they changed the documentation three days ago. It looks a lot bigger. They got rid of the video? No, it's down here. It's a lot further down. So anyway, um, it shows you really quickly how to put it in test mode. And like when you finish with the test, just let the other person know so that they can turn off the test mode um, or set a, sec a certain time of the day. Swap funnels, get each other, get, get used to being uh, another pair of eyes for somebody because that's what I did. I cannot be auditing 3,200 people's funnels. Um, it takes up three hours to seven hours of my time if I was to go through the service level beneath the service and have a look at the integrations. You don't need to go that far. You just need to know, does my customer, is my customer able to make that purchase? Whether it's just the blueprint, can they make that put? Can they get to the, uh, do they get the email? Do they go to the order confirmation form, uh, order confirmation page? Can they click on that button? Does it go to the secret sign up URL? Just like think logically like what you've built now and get into the momentum mm -hmm. of like, what will the customer really be reaching? Like, would that matter? Would it not? Those little tiny things like the footer and everything, yeah, absolutely. Like, they're not really going to affect, not, they're not going to affect your sale, but it's nice to know from another set of eyes, did I actually do the footer on mobile? Did I do it for that page? Did I, did, the, did these links work on that particular uh, mode, desktop and mobile? Definitely use a second pair of eyes. Get a third pair of eyes. Um, I did it for 40 plus funnels and I got super sharp with seeing what I see. Um, if I ever see social media lead machine in a particular funnel or box number three, I think it's the bonus box number three, the green box. If it's, if the spine looks backwards, let me know inside of the Facebook messenger. Uh, Cause I've, I see from day one that that has always been in there for some reason. And um, I'm sure I've told the designers. Yeah, I fixed that. You gave us yeah. the, the new image for that. There you go. So anybody um, that sees the green I box, just let us know. Okay. So yeah, definitely. Um, there is no okay. like anybody else out like out uh, higher uh, part of the team. It's me. It's me. I've only I've only done okay. I've done the distance. <laughs> <laughs> so the support team, okay. you know, they 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 they're super great. They they do way 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 more than what I do too. But like they know all the back end systems. They take care of the social media lead machine and a lot more. And uh, it's great to see what they do. And then what they see me do inside of the group and everything. And then like, if there's any, anything that they need, if there's any, uh, with regards to like updating information, I will be the one that's receiving mm -hmm. the bullets because I'm going the distance for my own business and giving it back to you. So if I'm telling, if I'm saying to you guys, like go inside of the group, go and help, go and help in other groups is because yeah. it's of value to somebody else. And when somebody else sees that, and if they're trying to ask you, Hey, could you do the whole funnel for me? No. Mm -hmm just like they need to learn for themselves. But if you get on a call and just help them out for this one thing, it's okay, it's all mm -hmm. good. But like, they should see the training for inside of the Blake's Panel program. It's, it's, already, it's already done, it's seamless. Um, but to go out and just help somebody out in the text chat is all good. I wouldn't need, you shouldn't need to jump on Zoom okay. calls anymore. It's already been done. But like anybody, like I did with a customer externally, who's in a e-com store. And I just said, okay, I was kind of, a little bit biting my tongue to say, yeah, okay, I'll go and see what your funnel is all about. And it ended up being super easy because I've done the Blake's partner program. I've seen how to add products. I've seen how to add the images. I know how to add a, uh, the, the pricing and the stripe and everything like that. And it just was so seamless. I checked mobile desktop. I checked if, everything that he didn't even expect. And in 15, 20 minutes, your speed will be so fast. So definitely use a second and third pair of eyes. Great question. Um, do you have any other questions, Renee? Okay. Um, yeah, um, I haven't even touched the done for you, done for you plus product. I haven't added it yet. Um, should I go ahead and add it before starting ads, or should I just go for no, it? Absolutely not. No, it's just launch. Should I wait? That, so you, you've got three products. It's all in line with 11 launch. That's where it's that's where it's supposed to be. So you can launch this, get the wheel uh, wheels on the road, and then afterwards you have the options to do done for you plus. I mean, I've had done for you plus for less than a less okay. than a year now, and I'm still like, mm, I'm not, nah. I just the only reason I need to go through done, done for you plus is to actually have a look at what the issues are and things like with the graphics. I, I wouldn't have seen that unless I've gone through it. So 
Um, mm-hmm. The funnel build, the funnel build is a funnel build now. Like I can see anything and everything through, like in code. It's just crazy, like Neo in the Matrix. But that's how mm-hmm. and where we want you to get there. We want you to. Get, you you might not feel tech savvy right now, but look, Nikki, she got three screaming kids like in the background and and doing what she needs to do with like octopus arms and like she, she's just <laughs> un, unfazed by the noise and and I think you you're, you're all superheroes <laughs> in yourselves. But you you know, Renee, you've got like five businesses on the go and. It's just crazy to see what you're all doing and what you're putting up with and um and and you're actually going out there to wanting to build this thing out pass this down on as a legacy michelle you're the same you you showed the a picture recently with your with uh, your daughter i think you said it was your youngest daughter um super cool that you want to do this and uh, make it easier for them because right now it's very tough i have my first 17 year old student his dad got on the call i was like this is weird he actually had a va first and then that va um bought the a whole affiliate lease machine this is a good one to share with you actually and i will go through and answer your questions trying appreciate you for waiting to the end and renee if you have any other questions i just need to like talk about this part so this is my first dispute a few days ago someone said that the purchase was fra- fraud i don't have the credit card details i don't know anything about it like they went to my page and it was the va that purchased for that end client shouldn't even be doing it that way i don't think i think you should be using the end client should be purchasing it because it's theirs and um then i saw two days later there was another purchase i didn't think anything of it i didn't bother looking and checking that it was the same person but it was two different emails two different times two different dates two different credit cards she flagged it as fraud the bank was uh, alerted the bank contacted stripe the ba- uh, stripe contacted me and then i had the ability to send one message with all the details and everything. So I mentioned about the different time, the different date, the different card, the different, um, the same person apparently looked to me and did, like the name that was registered uh, was the same person. And um, I messaged back to the main guy and he says, no, that's not my card. I don't understand. Like I haven't got that card. I said, and then he said, oh, I think it's the VA who was saying something bad about me. Actually, she apparently did some research and when she said she did some research, she did some negative research on me. And uh, I said, okay, can you tell that VA to send me all the links and all the images and everything for that? He went back to the VA and he said, can you send links? And she said, oh, you want to go and trust him instead? <laughs> that was the end of that relationship. They've been working together for so long. Like, come on, where's your evidence? I want to see some bad stuff about me. I really do. If you have, if you, this is what I've heard from marketing and I, and before I'd be like, oh no, <laughs> and I'm not bothered. I don't care. You can say something bad about me. I'm trying to help as many people as possible. Are you, or are you trying to take money VA? Sorry. <laughs> so I have that, that strike in my account and, uh, the bank decided, and then I got an email from Stripe that the Stripe, uh, said it's not out of our hands and, uh, the, the end, the, the one that, that decides is the bank so i was like okay fine well they took the money anyway and there's a fee on my side so it cost me like 36 pounds or something like that i don't know so i was like okay i've learned from that one I'm not gonna help well hopefully from this you'll also know how to navigate and uh, how to deal with that I, I actually said i'm happy to refund that person because that person isn't even because i found out it was a va afterwards so definitely something to 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 learn from but no skin off just doesn't affect me at all doesn't face yeah because that's like fraud you know they don't have permission if you're doing that yeah she was way past the 14 days anyway at least like go through my system before you even like start striking back it's only because she lost a client oh ain't nobody got time for that (laughs) i don't care so if you ever come across that try and deal with each and every customer and client with care that one she just had a really bad 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 day and so she lost a client. She, she, so anyway, going back, the guy said, I want to get my son involved. He's going to a private school and everything. I didn't know anything. He hasn't even got a Facebook account. I'm like, where do you hang out these days? And I said, you know, are you okay with me teaching your son this? He's like, yeah, no, it's cool. Like I need, I said, look, I'm telling you the VA is going to cost you the cost you the world and it will be so simple that this that this kid will do it and he said right cool I'll get my I'll get my son involved and he was telling me all about like the school life and everything like that and I was thinking wow he 
he was telling me things that I didn't even know. Like they've sent people from um, like princes from Africa to America to receive education. And he said, you know, this school, that's like the size of my house. I'm like, what? This stuff I don't even realize. It's super crazy. And so you can create the, the, the relationships through that. And I had consent from him. Everything was all recorded. And so he was receiving information and he was just absorbing like a sponge. I'm like, this is crazy. I, I tell him once or maybe twice and he's already learned what to do with ClickFunnels. He's like, yes, sir. It's very respectable. Um, I thought it'd be weird, but you know, if you have someone as young as that trying to get in the game, I mean, Michelle, I don't know how, long, how old your youngest is, but you know, hopefully she's, she's watching over the shoulder what you're doing, or at least you can pass it on to her at some point. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's that was that was my wins and losses during the week. Um, so, uh, who cares? Like, if I've lost thirty six instead of making, it's all good. It was a learning curve, and then I I, I paid my dues for that. So, um, although it's wrong on her side, saying it's fraud, it's fraud on her side. She's gone past the fourteen days anyway. Um, so yeah, Renee, do you have any other questions or anything? No, I'm good. Those were my main two. I'm going to try to get some time up to it this weekend. Yeah, um, so, to get it get it done and and get on to the dealing with the ads and stuff and start yeah. generating some traffic yeah yeah now For that sure. I have my stealth agents I have two stealth agents now and I have um, um, two new testers and two um, which I'm not teaching any of these people click funnels right now because <laughs> I need them on my other stuff but um, I now officially have payroll Ooh. Nice. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> it's so hard to let go. It is, yeah. But, I mean, yeah. you've been taking on five five different <laughs> jobs and all across different time zones. So congratulations for finally letting go. Yeah. It's, time to, it's time to really take the take the role of now navigating yeah. and delegating. Okay. Yeah, gets, I I, that I owe that to to all you guys. I, I owe that growth to you guys because. Um, you know, until I got into this program and had the coaching from you and Andrew and stuff, I, I, um, you know, I can build software just fine. Um, it's just a matter of uh, learning to learning to let it fly. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. No, congratulations. Like, start getting into that role where you need to start delegating out. This is what we had a team meeting earlier on today. Uh, so Blake, saw so the designers for the first time, they're in the Ukraine. I was like, whoa. That's the first. I didn't expect that. That's nice to connect. And we officially, we would have been at Funnel Hacking Live like this time, well, a couple of days ago, it was the 25th. Uh, I think they were trying to schedule it out for March. So, you know, eventually at some point, your your team members will be ride or die because you've, 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 you've navigated through everything. You've given them their space, their zone of genius, their creativity zone. Like they've, you've given them enough slack as well so that they can actually go out and experiment and it doesn't have to be just so stringent with the SOPs. I, I have so much slack, which is cra crazy amazing. And, and Blake completely trusts me with the whole program. Uh, and it's his. It is his. All, I'm, all I've done is just gone through and made my mistakes. Even this dis dispute is not even in the training. So that like in future, we may have like a module. Uh, we don't know. I don't know. I just mentioned it. I thought like everything that I'm going through right now, like it needs to be in there. Uh, so we'll see. But at least you're learning it firsthand. Like the nurturing is very, very important. When you have like nurturing involved with like Asda, Tesco, uh, that's the UK companies, uh, Walmart, Toys R Us, non existent anymore. But like you'd always have that repeat customer coming through because you care. That end smile at the end of the day does matter and they'll remember you for it. And uh, same with flights when we, was, when we were flying with Jetsu and things like that. So it does matter. Um, if someone's being arrogant or really rude to you and stuff, it depends on the role that they have, whether it's the boss or they're, if they're the coach. So do apologize on my behalf if I actually come out and be human for a second. But um, I want to make sure that you're absolutely guided. And as uh, Jane quite rightly says, you know, I'm supposed to be you know, doing what I need to do, not, you know, I can be really nicely and fluffy about it all, but it's I'm here to I'm here to help you. So reach out and utilize the group whilst you're in there and utilize each other whilst you're there too and it's and it's gonna help you seriously uh, if i wish i had this so um in line with that um i think trang's gone now okay um in line with that i'll try and reach out to her and see if i can answer a question individually but yeah i've gone way past the hour an hour and um, 30 minutes into it but i appreciate each and every one of you on the call uh, does anybody have any closing questions or anything like that 
Dara, yeah. it's been a pleasure. Anybody else who's leaving today? No? Seriously? Oh, okay. Uh, Dara, it's been a pleasure. How, 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 uh, like, whereabouts are you with the journey? Just in closing. I am done. I launched my funnel and I need to, I think I'm going to add a, I'm going to add a lead magnet with a, with my ebook, um, just a basic ebook, uh, to give people. But, um, I, I think I, I, I'm struggling with my niche and I have another business that I'm, that I was working before that um i'm just trying to decide so it's not i'm i'm still talking about it i'm still you know going into groups and um but there's a sense of urgency in the other business right now till the 28th of february and then after that um so it's it's up but um i'm struggling with getting noticed but i'm struggling with ads so Got to go through the traffic explosion and really um, work that angle as well. No, uh, well done with everything that you've done. Through, like I've seen, I've seen each and every one of you grow go through this. Like ah, this is like too hard, and then like you've come full, full six, three sixty of this. Like no, I'm done with this, and no, you didn't say that, but like that was the, <laughs> that was the feel. And now look at you, you're like I've done this, I've done this. Like it's just crazy. So congratulations with launching. Although you're feeling the pain point now, it's like. You know, there's other people in the room who are also feeling that pain point. Like, what what do I do now? Um, and that's what I go out there and just test it. I just I just keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. And uh, after this call, there is a call that um, I did with Spencer yesterday, and it was just saying how to go about things. And uh, this will help you, Nikki, too, and everybody in the room, how to go about things manually, finding new people who are not that far ahead or who are just new. Um, inside of a group that you're hanging out with already and you can just take them by the hand and guide them you can help them out find out what they're doing and i've even gone through like what i said to them inside of messenger i br I, I made like a structured uh, message and everything so i went from adding someone inside of a group and uh, those two people that i did an example if you do check out that video later uh, i'll be dropping inside of the uh, group coaching calls those two people actually responded uh, this morning um so check out what i said model it don't copy it model it and um go out there and approach people because then once you've got the conversation it just ends up being really simple you don't have to go into zoom calls you can just just navigate things with just messenger in itself you can do voice messages and i even ex i even tell and i even said what i did at what stage um, where what is I this it's Where not did you yet, put this? it's not it's not yet available yet but as soon as i finish with the call i will be it's already uploaded into um into uh, vimeo i just need to drop it inside of the members area so um uh, within like 15 20 minutes or we're so going to add it as an extra on your, on your coaching calls you're going to add it as an extra underneath that yeah it'll be, okay. it'll be completely separately labeled it won't be like coaching call number or whatever it'll be it'll say two different things so um okay. nancy good to see you uh renee Hi, good renee. to see you as well um i'm going to be closing this call dara Congratulations for launching. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Austin. Austin Dixon did that. Uh, is that in our members area? It's already in your members area. You just haven't is seen it. Is it? Oh, I, met, I missed it. I looked for it after. But Blake, then... was, Blake was supposed to come on the call today and uh, he released something and I was like, dude, you're supposed to come on the call and, and see everybody. But it looks like he got busy today. So it's all good. Um, so yeah it's inside of your members area there was a banner at the top and it was saying like here go into your copywriting and it's there okay. it's underneath okay. your there's another training area that has been released so there's there's oh. those modules in there so definitely do that then you'll it'll appear inside of your inside of your portal copy secrets secrets is, is right there inside of your members area so don't worry it's all there Okay. This, okay. This is inside of the big master screen, like partner program. Yeah. Let me let me just uh, let me just uh, show you where it is. So at least uh, you've got it on the call. Okay. Um, and when is when is um Blake's next call? Thinking uh, of seven, that. Seventeenth, I think it is. Okay. Yeah. So just underneath here, can you see done for you plus traffic explosion? You do exactly okay. the same. Click on that one. Tra uh, copy secrets masterclass. Click on there. There's a form underneath and enroll in your copy secrets 
There you go. So um, if you just okay. go over into your portal, once you've actually uh, once you've actually just signed up with that, just your name and email. The the email should be the one that you purchased the Blake's Partner Program with, by the way, and then it should appear right here. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, he put it as a whole oh, other cool. module. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, oh, wow, that's um, cool. Wonder, That'd be something to do when we're done, like yeah. when we're all launched and everything, then do yeah. that stuff. Fo focus on wh where you're at right now. So I'm, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's, it's it's already in here. I think he said that his videos, he hasn't actually done all the videos yet, but there was supposed to be a welcome video and everything, but you asked me, and uh, Blake might be mm -hmm. mad, but mad be by me mentioning it, but it's already inside of the members area. I could have removed it last night and one person got in there. I, I don't think he's here on the call, but he's in Singapore. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it's there inside of your members area. So I quickly hit it away, uh, but it's there. It's go, go in and roll into it, go inside. When you're ready, go and focus on what you need to do. You've got your traffic explosion. I haven't even gone through that yet, but the person that did it had achieved ninety thousand dollars within like literally a couple of months and she did really wow. well wow. i haven't gone wow. through the training wow. so go through that use that and i think she were really focuses on the organic strategies but yeah enjoy it it's good it's good you've gone for it awesome so, um, some of it yeah cool 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 um aside from that i am one hour and 38 minutes into the call um, I might just drop in another link inside of the inside of the group if you have any other questions or anything, just as like an like an after party. It's not part of the program, as I always say, uh, but I want to make sure that these videos are short for Marianne so she can do a timestamp. And um, I think I'll go and add those two extra videos that I did with Spencer first, and then I'll drop a link if anybody has any other questions. Come and join me on on the what do we call it the accelerator. Uh, clubhouse. clubhouse, you can't. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty uh, fun. I, I actually oh, went yeah. five, five, six hours with uh, my own part, my own customers oh. the other day. But anyway, appreciate you. I'll see you on the next call, 4 p.m. EST. Till the Thank next you. One. We'll see you. Thank you. See you later. Bye, we'll see you, Dara. Bye, Dara. Bye, Darren. Bye, Dara. Take care. Bye, Dara. Bye, Dara. Bye.